fog from yesterday is still there this morning. Oh, there he is! Take a look at this. Namatame is in today's paper. The front page's headline article says that Namatame has regained consciousness. Today before dawn, the suspect Taro Namatame, who had been confined in a local hospital, regained consciousness. In response to police questioning, he testified that he is sorry for what he has done, and was scared. From here on, the police are hoping to solve the entire case based on the suspect's depositions. So it's finally over. Yeah, seriously. I wish we could have done it sooner. <sighs> Isn't the fog kind of thick this morning? And it's so chilly. <sighs> it rarely gets this cold in November. Oh, it's you guys. Perfect timing. I just got a call from the hospital. They said that starting today, it's okay to visit Nanako-chan. Yay! So she's getting a little better. Thank goodness. Oh, is that today's paper? So you already know about him. How's Namatame doing? He's regained consciousness, but it's hard to say. He's still mentally unstable, but we're slowly piecing together a story. This is still a secret, but I guess it's okay to tell you guys. You know that diary we found? There were entries about Miss Yamano and Miss Konishi in it. Looks like Namatame had been making advances on Miss Konishi. What? That son of a bitch! Yeah, uh, well, I'm gonna head to the hospital now. Dojima-san's recovering too, so I need to go over a few things about this case with him. Yosuke... Sorry. I'm alright. Namatame's been caught. He can't hurt anyone now. But forget him! Let's all go visit Nanako-chan after school. Yay! Of course! Let's tell the others once we get to school. Gotta go see Nanako. Just a reminder, the finals are next week. Wait, I do have another week of finals? I thought I was done with that. I've been comparing students' faces for years. Before and after the tests. They're flying high, thinking they'll pass at first, but once it's over, their faces turn to a pale white. Ho ho ho! Speaking of turning white, are you all familiar with Othello? A game named after Shakespeare's play. Some say it's the name to demonstrate the drastic change in the relationship of the black general and his white wife. Just goes to show you, even games have histories. Ho ho ho! You might think of this as of little importance, but I recommend you get this down your notes. Tests are much like history. You never know who's going to be in them. Ho ho ho. You listen to the lecture intently. And your knowledge has increased. Nanako. Everyone's here to see you. Talking still seems painful for her. Nevertheless, Nanako looks happy. Dojima-san! Ugh, how many times does this make it today? I understand that you're worried about your daughter, but you still need your rest, too. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Poor Dojima. Nurse is getting him down. Are your injuries that bad? Mm. Well, my wounds have just closed up, and it seems I have a couple of fractures as well. I'm sorry. 
I'll wheel him back to his room immediately. What are you apologizing for? It's almost time for your checkup, so make sure you're back in your room before then. Big bro. <laughs> Do you need anything? Stay here. Okay. As long as you want. Nanako closed her eyes with a relieved expression. She seems to have fallen asleep. <sighs> you received an explanation concerning Nanako's condition from the doctor. Her condition is stable for now, but, uh... I never thought I'd say this as a doctor, but... We still can't figure out the cause of Nanako-chan's symptoms. That's why we can only administer temporary treatments to alleviate her current pains. But she's not in danger anymore, is she? She's regained consciousness, but we can't let our guard down yet. All we can do for now is to monitor her condition closely. <sighs> Adachi, how's it going with Namatame? Well, he's awake now, but he's in no condition to tell us anything useful. We only get a little time each day to interrogate him, so we're stuck until his strength recovers. I see. I should get back to work as soon as possible. Yeah, sorry about that. We did kind of beat the crap out of him, so I guess he's going to be kind of a, out of it for a good long time. Hopefully by then, Nanako will be out of the hospital. Um, I think Nanako-chan can get more peace and quiet if she stays here. It's so foggy out, and there's been some weird rumors going around. Seems like no one knows why there's so much fog in town. It's true. The number of patients complaining about fog-related health problems has increased, which is quite unusual. Isn't that just a rumor? I can't say for sure that it has no effect on the human body. It certainly could be a psychological effect. People's anxiety over the fog could cause problems. But as far as the fog's chemical makeup, well, that's not my field, so I can only speculate. What concerns me is that transportation of our medical supplies has been delayed due to the fog. Fog-related health problems. Oh, that's just ridiculous. Anyone who says that is just blowing smoke. Maybe there's something more to this fog. Maybe it's not just normal fog. Nanako has somehow regained consciousness, but it seems that it'll take more time until she fully recovers. Namatame's interrogation that has finally begun. The fog that won't lift, and people's mysterious health problems. For now, it seems that you can only watch and wait to see how things will turn out. Isn't this weather strange? How could it be lasting so long? I've never seen anything like it. I wonder what's causing it. It's so creepy. It was only one day of fog. I mean, I've had foggy days here plenty of times where fog has lasted an entire day. I mean, it's normal. I heard that a friend of mine's son got sick from the fog and collapsed. You know how sensitive children are to that sort of thing. I heard something too. They say an old man was driving through the fog and got into an accident? Yeah, that can happen when you can't see on the road. What? Did he lose control? Well, he'd never been in an accident or even gotten a ticket before, so something seems off. Isn't that scary? Well, yeah, if you're driving and it's foggy, you can't really see, so... 
I've even heard there are experts saying it's poisonous. I wonder if that's true. Great. Do you think it's, you know, because of that global warming thing? This town's changed a lot over the years. I wish the government would step in and do something about this. Oh, I agree completely. If we're going to pay taxes, I expect the authorities to do their jobs. The fuck is poison! It's a gas filled with viruses! Oh, God. Conspiracy theorists out to ruin the day for everyone because of a single foggy day. Don't inhale the fog or you'll die! He's not the first one like that I've seen lately. Poisonous gas, though? Oh, I'm sure it's not true. Oh. Hmm. Is something wrong? Oh my. I... I think I'm coming down with something. Oh man, here we go. You... you can't be serious. <laughs> oh, that's right, I needed to do some grocery shopping. Well then. Off she goes, in a hurry. And everyone starts to freak out. Because of a single day of fog. Business has been so slow lately. Reese's grandmother is the only one right now that just doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> it's like, oh my, what's a foggy day? Oh, business is rather slow. Oh well, fog, fog, fog. Who cares about the fog? You recall that the finals start on Monday next week. Study? No! <laughs> Who's going to give me presents? No one's going to give me presents because I'm here all alone. Dream that you are comforting a crying Dojima. Your relationship with Dojima has intensified. A crying Dojima? Yeah, right. Like there's anything that would make him cry. Ahem. Ahem. You ever hear students talking? The weather's really been weird lately. What's up with all this fog? This fog looks like it's going to stay here forever. But I heard it's nothing to worry about. That's what some great guy on TV said. Oh, I also heard that it's poisonous. Very toxic. And nobody even knows why it's toxic. Man, just thinking about how toxic it is makes me feel ill. I should probably stay at home for a while. <laughs> You're just too lazy to take the finals beginning next week, aren't you? Perhaps. Who wants to hang out with me because I am awesome? Now, Toe, of course. Good day. Um, do you have any plans after school? I would like you to come with me. Sure, why not? Thank you. There's something I want to show you. I'll see you later, then. You decide to spend the afternoon with Nalto, who promised to show you her panties. What? It's seriously too cold now. Such a painful season if you've got a hip pain. I'd love to go to an inn with a spa. Luckily, we've got an inn right here in town. Not only that, but the manager there is young and beautiful. <laughs> yeah? Uh, unfortunately, my family is more interested in a ski trip than going to an inn. What's the point of going somewhere so cold? Are they that desperate to see the snow? I said to them, if you want to see snow, why not go to the glacier in South America? Hmm? I see doubt written all over your faces. You never heard of it? Hmm. Why don't I turn this qu into a question? Hey, Kagato. Yes, sir? What's the name of the glacier in South America? Antigonian Icefield? Wow, you're a smart fella. 
And yes, it's a rather special glacier between Chile and Argentina. Or Argenti Argentina, I should say. Argentina. Of course, I was just joking about going there. The weather's so harsh, very few people ever go. But, I don't think my wife gets it. She's been picking up brochures about South America. She's really too gullible. How could she not be at least a tiny bit guarded about going to a glacier? Give the correct answer, your knowledge has increased for no apparent reason, and it's going to probably be on the test, so I guess you better study. Class ended. That's some creepy music in the background. Like, hold on, am I hearing this correctly? Yeah, that seriously creeped me out. Ugh. Like, it's no longer happy anymore. It's now... Deathly terrifying. Fog has enveloped the area. Now to have brought a new challenge from the Phantom Thief. This was in my mailbox this morning. The Phantom Thief knows where I live. Which means he had other reasons for having you deliver the first card. Why you, though? Mmm... Because I looked useless. <laughs> if that's the case, the Phantom Thief isn't a very good judge of character. Nato is laughing heartily. So then, what do you think of the contents of this card? The card reads as follows. When the banks close, the fruit tree grows. By the large seven at the third is the spot that I choose. That is the ch I chose. More cryptic this time. Well, I anticipated that. First thing that comes to mind with the fruit tree is on the original card, but the second sentence... By the seven, at the third. What do these numerical values mean? When the banks close, the fruit tree grows. By the large seven, at the third is the spot that I chose. Mmm... Say the numbers are important. The numbers themselves? The seven and the third. Nato's eyes lit up. When the banks close, the fruit tree grows. Look at the third and seventh words. Banks and tree. In other words, by the large tree at the banks is the spot that I chose. Anyway, let's search for the biggest tree at the river's banks. You searched the river bank with Nato. There is something buried by the tree you found. I knew it. This watch brings back memories. Nato holds a digital watch, slightly large for a child's wrist. <laughs> this is pretty advanced, you know. It's one of the seven tools of a detective. It has an extremely strong backlight. He can use it to blind the enemy. I modified it when I was a child. I've always loved this sort of thing, ever since childhood. I preferred robots and cars to dolls and teddy bears. I liked high places, so I had a secret base in the trees. I enjoyed that. Why? Why couldn't I have been born a male? It would have been much easier for me. I could have done what I wanted to with Gusto. It's funny, isn't it? Hmm. I'm glad you're a girl. Your gender doesn't matter. And nothing you can do. I'm glad you're a girl. Huh? <laughs> what are you saying? Uh, there's nothing good about it. Nato is panicking fiercely. Really, it's quite difficult to keep my composure when you're around. I feel like I'm being lectured, like I'm still a child. Nato looks at her feet, embarrassed. You feel your relationship with Nato has grown deeper.
Rank up! Nato Shiragane's social link has reached level 6. It seems I've been doing all the talking. Why don't you tell me about yourself? What were you like as a child? I wish I could have seen it. I'll see you again! Chatted idly with Naoto and then went home. Yay! Happy music, kind of. At least happier than sounded outside. I mean, seriously, that's creepy. Hey, it's me, Yosuke. You want to hang out with me tomorrow? Um... Yeah, I can do it. Awesome! Let me ask Daisuke, too. I don't want people to think we're dating or anything. See you tomorrow. You made plans for tomorrow. Okay. I should have said no since we pretty much are finished, but you know, it might be a fun event. Who knows? Wow, cloudy every day. Not even gonna bother raining. Today's labor appreciation day, so you had the day off from school. Oh man, I could have gone and done death. Oh well, I just need two Sundays. You seem to recall promising to meet with someone today, so you should head out soon. Okina Station. What kept you? I already told Daisuke about this, but do you want to catch a movie? I saw something about a movie that looked good. It was called Blood, Sweat, Tears, and Baseball. Uh, What else is playing? <laughs> Nothing! Hey, yes, hey, there hey, is! Hey, hey. Let's watch it. We promise this would be an entertaining day. I feel your relationship with Ko and Daisuke is going to become closer soon. Well, that's good. I needed more points with them anyway, just to be sure that I finish when I decide to finally talk to them. Sleepy time. Dreamy time. Nothing. I swear to God, that music is so scary! Very, very ominous. You overhear students talking. I can't even see the sky with all this fog. I really don't like this weather. Uh huh? Why? I'm fine with it. Some people say the fog is poisonous. But I don't feel bad at all. You're worrying too much. Just imagine that the town was supposed to be like this from the very beginning. Pretend that this is natural. If you say so. More students are calling in sick lately. But I guess it's nothing really unusual. Whew. There are some things that just work really well as far as scaring me. Sometimes it's the very subtle things that do it. And this is one Good of those day. subtle things. Good afternoon. Um, do you have any plans after school? I'd like you to come with me. Will you spend the day with Nalto? Sure! Thank you. Thank you. There, there's something I want you to see. I shall see you later, then. You decide to spend the afternoon with Nalto. Will you see your panties this time? Let's find out. <sighs> Maybe I should go home for today. The fog doesn't seem to be lifting either. Don't you feel drained on foggy days? The bad news is that I can't go home yet, though. That's the crushing reality of a full-time employee. So, back to the lecture. 
Math and civilization evolved simultaneously, which allowed us to solve problems. Although there are some math problems that have yet to be solved, they're called Millennium Prize Problems. In the year 2000, they announced seven unsolved problems. If you solved one, you're awarded one million dollars. Hmm, Jiraikun. How many Millennium Prize problems do you think remain unsolved? I'm gonna say six. I think somebody solved one of them. Ah, I'm surprised you knew. But yes, one of them has been solved. I envy whoever solved it. He walked away with the money and... So you know, he solved the point, uh, point care conjecture. They even tried to award him the Fields Medal, which is kind of like the Nobel Prize, but he declined it. I guess geniuses don't think along the same lines as us normal people. Huh. Sorry that I'm getting off topic, but my husband is acting weird lately. Not that we've been fighting, but he's been going on about how the fog is poisonous. Uh, I'm so depressed. Let's just continue the lecture. You gave the correct answer. Your knowledge has increased. Classes have ended for today. You have no choice but to wait until the situation changes. You recall that you've already made plans with somebody. I'm going to speed through this so I don't have to hear that creepy music anymore. Ugh. Sumagawa Riverbank. Fog has enveloped the area. Naoto seems to be thinking about something. To tell you the truth, I haven't been in contact with Grandpa lately. I wanted to confirm the items I assume that the Phantom Thief stole, but... Our secretary, Yakushiji-san, passed along a message saying he went to visit an ailing friend in America. Since then, I haven't been quite able to reach either Grandpa or Yakusuji-san's cell phone. Huh. Well, there's no point in worrying about them now. I'm sure they're fine. On to business. I received a new challenge in the mail today. The card reads as follows. Jury not to not rest, or route for fable. Minus 40, minus 4. The sentence is written in gibberish. Is this part of the riddle? And this minus 40 minus 4? On its own, it means nothing. Perhaps the minus part is important. Mm. Subtract 40 and 4? Huh? Subtract 40? Aha! Subtract 40 from the sentence. Nato's eyes lit up. Jury to not rest, or root for fable. From there you subtract 40 and 4. Notice the unnatural comma in the phrase. It corresponds to the two numbers. Subtract the letters in 40 from the first part, and the ones in 4 from the second. What remains is... Junez Table! Junez Table! Let's go. That's it, let's go! Junez Food Court. Fog has enveloped the area. There was something taped to the underside of the table. I knew it was here. Naoto produces a large ballpoint pen. This is another of the seven detective tools that I made. You can use it as a normal pen, but it also has a pen light and a miniature telescope. I thought I had lost this. I didn't think Grandpa still had it. <laughs> Neither my Grandpa nor myself can stand to throw things away. When this pen was still mine, I was just a child, dreaming of becoming a detective. But being a man or a woman, I never thought about it. The lack of peers to compare myself might have contributed to that. I had no friends. I was quite the outsider then, too. But why is that compared to the time I spent utterly alone? 
I worry more now that I'm with you and the others. I feel that I'm undergoing a change. Don't be afraid. I see. I'm afraid, you say. I see. <laughs> Nato is smiling weakly. The need to change and the desire to remain the same. They're mixed together. And it scares me. Nato looks smaller than ever before. That she would just show you a side of her that must be the sign that she's opened her heart to you. Rank up! We're just plowing through this. And now Toshiragani social link has reached level 7. Cure severe ailments. Kagata-san, have you ever felt like that before? <laughs> I want to hear about you. I'll see you again. Chatted idly with Naoto and then went home. 